Developing tonight, new details about the Palm Bay shootings that left four people dead and two police officers severely injured. Police shot and killed the accused gunman on Sunday, and today we learned one of the victims is a well-known Catholic priest who served at parishes across Central Florida. News 6's Troy Campbell is in Palm Bay tonight with the new details. He had an arsenal of weapons inside his vehicle. Palm Bay's police chief showing a picture of the weapons he says were found inside of a car moments before officer shot and killed 24 year old Brandon Kappas. It's all tragic. This is all tragic, you know, but uh, we don't know the motive right now, you know, between uh, Florida Department of Law Enforcement and with our own homicide team um, uh, after identifying the uh, two victims from last night. We're trying to figure that out, to be honest with you. Palm Bay says their officers were called to Forgal Avenue just after 2 o'clock Sunday afternoon. On reports, Kappas was acting aggressively during a birthday party at a relative's house. Our officers' actions yesterday prevented something even more tragic and devastating from happening uh, and potentially uh, what could have been potentially an active shooter type incident and scenario. Police say Kappas killed his grandfather and shot two of the officers who responded on the scene. That's when one of the officers shot and killed Kappas. But our officers' actions yesterday prevented something even more tragic and devastating from happening. Uh, and potentially, uh, what could have been potentially an active shooter type incident and scenario. Investigators say the man who owns the vehicle Kappas was driving and another woman were both found dead of apparent gunshot wounds inside of a home nearby. The Catholic Diocese of Orlando released this statement. I share with you that Father Robert Bob Hoffner and his sister Sally both were tragically murdered yesterday. Throughout his priesthood, Father Hoffner served the people of God with compassion and humility. Father Hoffner served at several parishes across Central Florida, most recently here at St. Joseph. He previously worked with Good Shepherd in Orlando and also Bishop Moore Catholic School. I spoke with one of his parishioners off camera. She described Hoffner as a caring man. As for the injured officers. One of our officers um, is recovering. And in fact, is being released from one of the local hospitals as we speak. And our second officer that was shot um, had successful surgery earlier this afternoon and uh, will be re recovering from the surgery and then be uh, pending his release from the hospital. In Palm Bay, Troy Campbell, Getting Results, News 6.